Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. So this ought to look familiar to you and you're probably going to be shaking your head going, oh my god, Kevin decided to get a Lighthawk again. Uh, well, I, I didn't have to support Lighthawk in any way, shape or form. That's the bonus. I got it on a deal. And it was worth it to me just for the electronics, okay? The electronics in this boat are actually really good. Um, so, but the, the hull, of course, is garbage. And you know, even since I had my first Challenger boat, check out my channel, you'll find out when I got my very first one. This is actually my third. Um, but anyways, um, it's been a while. <laughs> but this one's got damage too. They have not changed a damn thing about the manufacturing of this boat to improve it any. You would think by now, you know, and there's been a lot of complaints with this boat. Um, you know, I've had a lot of people start to complain to me about it as well, you know, and it's like, well, hey, I kind of told you, you know, and uh, I have saved a few people from buying this boat. They were thankful they saw the video before buying it uh, because, yeah, the hull is crap, and even this one is no different. I've got a bunch of patching I had to do to this one, and um, the one part that uh, I didn't show in the running footage, because I have running footage for you guys, is the back corner on the bottom and on the inside of that part. And, uh, but I use JB Weld because JB Weld is actually really good strong stuff, especially once it's cured. So at least these spots shouldn't give away again. And as long as I'm really delicate and careful with it, because you have to be, hopefully nothing else goes wrong with the hull and I can at least get it through the summer. Reasons why I got this boat and wanted to pick something up at least is my Genesis, as you guys know, aka Sea Devil, is down because right now I can't afford a new ESC for that and still do what I want to do for the rest of the summer with my channel for RC stuff and uh, so that boat is down and at least this one runs um, and like I said I got it on an awesome deal couldn't say no and the darn thing runs um, so anyways one of the problems uh, that I had which is the point of doing this whole video here so we'll get on with it is I had to make my own rudder piece for the steering because this one was snapped in half, which sucked. Okay, so I just crazy glued it back together. Now, crazy glue, guys, do not trust it. I don't care if it's the best crazy glue in the market or Gorilla Glue. A rudder goes under a lot of tension, steering back and forth in boats. That's, there's nothing going to hold that back together properly. So either buy a new piece or make your own. And that's what this video is about, is about making your own. And I made one out of a bolt. I had a, but a four inch long fully threaded bolt and uh, the bolt diameter was the size of the hole where this thing uh, actually goes through and um, I left the threads on because I had to to keep the size there obviously and uh, the threads I, I just kind of brushed the ends flat on here so that there's no edges uh, kind of looks like a chainsaw which is kind of neat chainsaw blade um, drilled some holes. Now, when you compare the original one to my modified one, let me just unzoom a little bit here. Hopefully you'll see this. Um, I'm about around the second hole, so I actually do need to drill one more hole in here. Uh, so I'm going to drill one more hole, and that'll give me a lot more steering. Uh, the other thing to get more steering out of this boat, if you do happen to have this one or the Relentless or... Well, pretty much any boat I'd imagine is when it comes to your servo horn mount make sure this is at the very top it's going to give you the most pull back and forth and uh, so you get the maximum amount of steering but uh, to make this all you need is a belt sander a hand drill or a or a uh, drill press either one is fine you're going to need a 564 drill bit as well um, but uh, so belt sander, 564th drill bit, um, the uh, hand drill or drill press, and a cup of water to keep cooling the bolt up as you're sanding it to shape. And I got it really accurate for hand sanding. I'm pretty picky on, on sanding stuff down and doing anything really. So I got it pretty darn flat. I give her about a 98%, you know. So not bad considering, you know, it was all done by hand. It turned out great. And um, it does work well. And we're going to show you that running footage. 
So if you don't want to buy another one of these cheap plastic uh, ones, if somehow you manage to break this arm, just make your own. You know, some basic tools, a bolt that fits the hole perfectly, you know, and uh, you know, when you drive that Allen screw back in to lock it back down, it ain't moving. I've got it snugged up so it actually bites into the threads. So there is no way that thing's coming undone and out of there, you know, unless I want it out. So that's bonus. But um, anyways, yeah, so it did pretty good. Um, I think so. Let me know what you guys think, you know, check the running footage. Tell me what you guys think. Um, you know, if this haul lasts me the rest of the summer, I'll be good with that, you know. And uh, if I do have to do any more repairs to it, well, I guess I'll snowboat it this winter and then really finish off the haul. But otherwise, I'm going to try and make it last as long as possible until I can get the Sea Devil back up and running. But uh, anyway, that's it. That's all. Now, on with the running footage for you guys. Hey guys, how's it going? So, we're going to try out this uh, modified uh, steering arm for the rudder see how it does and we're at Lake Nipissane and quite a bit of a good chop out here. I love chop.
check to see if maybe it just came on block. Unplugged. I got a little bit of water in the hull. Not too bad. I expected water. Only because <coughs> this seal that's on these boats is a piece of crap. I never even worked on my other challengers when I had them, so. But a little bit of water ain't gonna hurt nothing. She's good to go still. That's good enough. My battery's starting to get a little warmish. It's only a small 2200 mAh, which is what comes with these anyways. This just has a little bit more discharge rate than the stock one. So I don't want to push it hard because I use this in my deadbolt. But I see it ran pretty good. And uh, it likes the waves, that's for sure. But. Uh, the uh, modified rudder piece seems to be doing the job. I think I might, uh, though, drill one more hole just to get a little bit of extra steering out of it. Because I, even though the steering is even both ways, I need just a little more. Just a little more. And uh, I think it'll be good. So, and like I said, this boat I don't care about, guys. I got it on a deal. Couldn't say no. The electronics alone are worth it to me. Because at least they do put good electronics in the darn thing, even if the hull is junk. But uh, I don't know how well you can see this, but I got a repair spot there, down in there. Uh, this was preventative maintenance right in here, and this spot in here was actually, yes, preventative. Uh, but the one on the inside down in here is actually right here. This was probably the worst spot on it, but. It seems to be doing pretty good, and I know for a fact the water came in um, through the canopy. So, I guess next time I'll tape it up. <laughs> but uh, anyways, guys, that's it. That's all. Let me know what you guys think, um, and we'll catch you in the next video.